now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Kyle Porkett. Hey there, Northeast Kansas, and happy Halloween. Before you throw anything at me through your television screens, I'm just the messenger. Of course, not feeling like Halloween outside this morning. We're waking up to temperatures in the 20s, but it's at least looking festive outside. Lots of Halloween decorations uh, all across Northeast Kansas. Here's the day planner forecast. It's just simply put cold. 30 degrees this morning. By lunchtime, increasing clouds. 40 and a high temperature this afternoon, low to mid 40s. Although I think some of our northern and western counties could be trapped in the 30s even by 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. Also, the elephant in the room, a chance for some rain and maybe some wet snowflakes mixing in. Yes, it is snowing in Kansas this morning, just not here. As promised, I've zoomed out our satellite and radar picture. Here come the clouds and the snow. Snowing between eastern Colorado and western Kansas. In fact, as close to us as uh, liberal Kansas and Dodge City. They're picking up some snow this morning. Saw some pictures of snow on pumpkins in western Kansas on Twitter. Uh, if we see the snow tonight, be sure to take a couple pictures as well. Send them in either on Twitter or on Facebook or by email. WXPhotos at KSNT.com. We'd love to see them. Our KSNT future track. This is 2 o'clock this afternoon. Notice some funky colors popping up on the screen. See some whites, some blues. Even some of that pink and coral color and some green. What does that mean? Well, a wintry mix, probably some chilly raindrops, and then from time to time, a couple wet snowflakes mixing in. I'll say this I think Future Track is overdoing the moisture a little bit, but we do have a little bit to work with later on today. This is six o'clock, so dinner time, trick or treating time. Notice a hit or miss rain or snow shower later today. And wouldn't it be fitting or just downright ironic if we saw our first few flakes of the season? Season on Halloween. How about that? It's possible later today. Tonight, we actually dry out and clear out, but by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, this is Wednesday at 8 30 a.m., notice the clouds start to roll back in. Tonight, 32 degrees, a chance for some patchy frost. Uh, of course, this morning, you're waking up to temperatures in the 20s. Some good news, though, some positivity this morning. These temperatures we're currently seeing and feeling the coldest that we'll have all week long. In fact, we only start to warm things up the rest of the work and school week. So by far, today is the coldest day. 57 degrees for high tomorrow, 65 on Thursday. Another mini cold run on Friday, a chance for afternoon rain shower. The best weekend of all 52 weekends all year long is this upcoming one. Saturday into Sunday, daylight saving time comes to an end. That means everyone gains an hour of sleep. Don't forget to fall back Saturday night into Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, a high temperature of 74. So we start to really warm things up for the first few days of November. As promised, your trick-or-treater forecast tonight. Some SAT words for you. Frighteningly frigid. How about that for some alliteration too? Upper 30s, maybe want to pack not just the snow gear, why it's going to be cold, but maybe some wet snowflakes flying around too. So something to keep in mind. Remember, this is the only weather that we have, so don't hate it uh, too much. But we're not the only ones that are uh, dealing with some cold weather today. In fact, the entire eastern half of the country waking up to temperatures below freezing or at least below average for this time of the year. So we are certainly not the only ones. A happy Halloween regardless. Have fun tonight and stay safe.